Hi guys, Nintendo Capri Sun here. It is May 10th, and I am back with more Ocarina of Time. And in the last episode, I picked up the Iron Boots, as well as talked to Sheik and learned a new song. But you might notice my rupee total is a little off from what it was before. That's because I forgot to save everything. That's because I forgot to save my game before I shut everything down last time. So I had to go through and do the race with Dompey and everything again. But I actually got it on the third try this time through. It's been driving me crazy all day at work today, trying to remember where this goes. It probably doesn't go anywhere, but we're going to check it out anyway. You can't breathe underwater. If you start choking, take off these boots. Oh, so it just goes elsewhere in the cavern. Well, that blows. Uh, no, you better go ahead and drop down. I can't drop down. Okay, well, I don't need these boots on anymore, so I'm going to get on my boots now, my regular boots. Just wait till you see the other... Wait till you see the other pair of boots you pick up in this place. They look like fuzzy slippers, I tell you. I think this is the wrong way. In fact, I know it is. I can just feel it in my bones. I can feel it in me bones. Alright, let's not be stupid here. Let's just get out of here. Yeah. I don't want to run into that thing. I mean, I can't tell you how many times I ran into that thing my second time through here. And I had a lot more trouble than I did when I was recording. So thank God I recorded my good run through this instead of recording what I just did now. Because holy cow. Whew. So now that we have the iron boots, we can actually go ahead and use them right here. This to me was always like the weirdest piece of heart. I don't know why this one is so weird, but it is. So you put on the boots here, get on your boots, and sink to the bottom of the lake. We got plenty of time. One minute, three seconds. Can't see much now. Can't really move around either, but as you slowly sink to the bottom, you see rupees and other stuff, and they all lead to the very bottom of the lake where there is a piece of heart. Awesome. All right. So we've got no use for the boots anymore. We'll take them off now. The boots tell us where you are. Get his boots! Or, ugh, I'm trying to think of the, that line from Face Off. I can't remember it. Where he has to get rid of the boots to get to break out of the jail. It's really funny. I have no idea which direction I'm swimming right now. Actually, I'm swimming totally the right way. We'll just head right on up through here. Alright. Wait, this isn't the right way. What the heck? Oh, that's where I came out. Oh, come on, man. You were so stupid. I was following the red arrow, not even thinking that that's, well, that's the ice cavern. That's where I came out. I'm going to have to be smarter than that in the future. Well, this is the future, and I didn't get smarter, did I? <laughs> oh, well. Okay, so three minutes, and all we've done is pick up a hard piece. That's great. Let's get out of here. Say goodbye to Lord Jabu Jabu, or what remains of his spirit, or whatever's here. You probably want to bring some blue fires with you because you can actually use them out here. So I have an extra one here. There's also one in storage. Go ahead and use one on King Zora here. Melt him free. I wouldn't want to be stuck in that. Yay. Alright. <coughs> so now you come around here and talk to him. Hi. Oh, I've come back to life. Was it you who saved me? Don't be nervous. It looks like you have a hard time breathing underwater. As an expression of my gratitude, I grant you this tunic. With this, you won't choke underwater. My first time playing through this, I had no idea you could do this. Like, seriously. And that's, I mean, I'll just go ahead and tell you my big story about the water temple, is that my first time going through it, I did it without the Zora tunic. I'm not even kidding. And... Quite frankly, it gives you more than enough time underwater. I mean, you never have to spend that much time underwater in the temple, so it doesn't really matter too much. You can also take another fire, which I have here, and uh, melt open the shop, although I can't imagine why you'd want to, because you can open the shop and just get a Zora tunic in here for 200 rupees, I think. Like, too, you've been locked in here all this time. Welcome! I love his pose. You say you want a revolution? You want to buy a Zora tunic? That tunic is made of the finest material. Yeah, well, I already copped one off your king for saving him. 
I'm afraid only that very rich family in Kakariko Village can afford this fine garment. What? Oh, it's 300 rupees, okay. Alright, and what do we have over here, Deku Nuts? A fish? 200 rupees for a fish? Come oh my god. No wonder you got sealed off here, no wonder your business has been so bad. Anyway, okay. And we've taken care of the ice cavern, but that's only the smallest piece of the puzzle. We'll be back here later to do the rest of what we need to do here. What's really sad is that even when you do do it, you never get to see this place thawed out again, like, playably, if you know what I mean. If you know what I mean. And this, well, is this shortcut actually active now, or is it blocked off? I can't imagine why I would need to go... Well, actually, this is perfect. This is so perfect, it's not even funny. I didn't even think about this, but this is absolutely perfect. This brings me right out here to my doll. Remember this guy? What are you? Though you wear Kokira's clothing, you can't fool me. I promised Soraya I would never let anybody go through here. Well, that's nice. But guess what? I have the Oak Arena, bitch. So let me through. Oops. Ugh. It would help if you played the right song. Here we go. Um. Good lord. Learn your notes, dude. Bum 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 bum. Da 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 da. That melody. Soraya plays that song all the time. Did you know Soraya? That song. Soraya taught that song only to her friends. Okay, I trust you. When I see you, I don't know why, but I remember him. Yep, that's because I'm him. Whoosh. Do I need to go right again? No, I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't. I need to go straight. Keep it straight, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, you know what? There's actually... You can bomb this rock here. One of these rocks. I don't remember which one it is. It might not be this one, but... It might be the second one. One of these has, like, some kind of secret under it. I can't quite recall. It might be this one. Doesn't one of these have a hole under it? I don't think there's like a piece of heart or anything that you can get, though. But we'll check it out anyway, just for shits and giggles. La, la, la. Oh boy, we got some Deku fart knockers here. So am I gonna have to... <laughs> Why is there two of you here, man? I surrender! To make your quest easier, I can enable you to pick up more Deku nuts, but it'll cost you 40 rupees. Okay, so here's the nut upgrade. Not that it matters, but... Okay, we'll take it. Okay, so what does this guy give us? This guy probably sells crap. You know, a heart or some shit. Let's go find out. <laughs> Knock it off! Leave me... Knock it off, Fox! It's all you arrows. Um, I don't need arrows right now. I'll have arrows soon enough, I think. Knowing my luck, boy, I tell you. Oh my god, I've lost all sense of direction here. Wasn't that on my right, so that would mean I need to go. Well, I'll just look at the map, I guess. Alright. Yeah. And here we are in the sacred forest meadow. As an adult, this place is really nasty. But if you have your hookshot, you shouldn't have to worry too much about it. If you take it slow, maybe you can sneak up on some enemies. Baby, we can take it slow. Will you shut up? Shut up. Shut up! Please, I'm dying here. I can't breathe. You know, just for just for the hell of it, I'm gonna put on the Zora's tunic because I like blue. Okay, and also, I need to equip my crap here. Get these bottles off of here. Get the hook shot. I always like to put the hook shot there. Um, bombs we'll put there, and we'll just go with that for now. No, yeah, we'll save it. Alright, now these guys that are around the corner here are very dangerous. But if you hit them with a hook shot just the right angle, you don't have to worry about it too much. But let me tell you, the first time I came through here and I got knocked back by one of those, it scared me to... Oh man, it scared the living piss out of me. Oh, there, see? He just runs right into you and there's like... I'm telling you. It's... But, there you go, you see. If you sneak up on them with the hook shot, it's no big deal. And they drop hearts, so... Any damage they might have done to you arbitrarily is not to be concerned. Too big of a concern. Oh, right in the ass, man. Right in the ass. Right in the left butt cheek. I love it. Oh, we're not finished yet. There's plenty more where that came from. There's... 
Oh, right in the balls! Man! These guys are taking it in the worst possible places. Alright. Let's swim up. Oh, I'm up to ten minutes already. Damn. Well, of course, I didn't really think I'd get all the way here. It's a lucky thing for that... Uh... Shortcut. I used to think these guys were actually, like, indestructible. I mean, I didn't know, man. Yeah, so much for Z-targeting. We'll just do it this way. Ooh. Well, I might have to Z-target here. Slowly peek around the corner. Where are you? I see you. Come after me. I'm gonna make a run for it. Oh! So close, so close, so close. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah, well, I'll, I'll just keep hitting you with my... Oh, man! Okay, you know what? Maybe I should uh, save this guy for next time. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. See you later.